everybody. Welcome to Citizen Survival Plan. In today's video, I want to talk about DMR radio. That's digital mobile radio. Why would you want it? What capabilities does it have over an analog FM? We're kind of just going to do a general overview of DMR and why you might want it. Okay, so let's first start out with what is DMR? It is simply just a mode. It is just a mode just like anything else. If you had a CB radio and you had single sideband, FM and AM, DMR is just a digital mode. And I'm going to do a little demonstration just to show this. This is a regular FM analog ham radio and it's got the GMRS frequency in it. I'm on GMRS1 and on here, on my B channel down here, I have GMRS channel 1 and I can transmit to this radio because right now I have this DMR radio in analog mode which brings me to another point this does everything that this radio does except for it also has digital modes so let's just show that real quick and I can talk into the radio and it works just fine so let's go ahead and change this to a digital mode. Do channel set and we're going to do channel type and let's make it digital now. Let's just see what happens. So my <laughs> the ham radio guys are going to love this. So this is GMRS channel 1 and I've now changed it to a digital mode. So this is what it's going to sound like now. It cannot decipher or decode that signal anymore. It is now off limits to anybody with an analog radio. And this radio is only capable of FM analog transmissions. So what are some of the benefits to using DMR over an analog radio? Well, I can do encryption now. So if I go in here and I go to a talk group that I made called Uncoded. And in my talk group with the other radios, I have set this up where I can just turn encryption on. And you're gonna see a little shield looking thing there. So this channel called UHF-1 on that frequency is now my own encryption to another radio. So I have the encryption off on this radio and on this radio, it's on. So let's go ahead and just show that. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So you can't understand what I'm saying. This is encrypted on this radio. And even though they're on the same frequency, this person cannot understand that. And in my computer, when I wrote this program, you write your own encryption key. So it's different for everybody. These encrypted radios will only talk to each other. So let's go ahead and turn encryption on on this and just showcase this. Testing. 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 One, testing. Two, One, two, three. So now you can see we have encrypted the radios and they can talk to each other. And no one else who doesn't have their encryption on will not be able to understand me. One note about encryption is every single person on the internet is going to tell you how illegal this is. Don't do it. I'm in my basement. There's no signal really going anywhere out of here. It is technically illegal unless you post your encryption key to the internet. Um, I've heard that. I've never done that. I don't really use the encryption. Um, but I like having the ability to use it if I want to. One other thing you're going to see is when I key these radios up, you're going to see a 577 at the top. You're going to see Recon 2. That is this radio right here. So you can type in, in your info boxes when you program these radios, the information on what radio is talking to who. And you'll be able to see that. So DMR has a lot of cool features. And same thing, when I flip this back, this was Recon 3. And you'll see when I key it up, 
you can see it's coming from Recon 3. So it's it's kind of neat. It is a talk group I created. And in another video, I'm going to go deep into how to program these and make these work like I'm demonstrating here. But that is not today's video. Another awesome feature of DMR is I can text. So I have a bunch of quick text messages that I put in here. And these are set up inside of the programming software, which is CPS. And we'll just send a quick text message to this radio. Now, I have a talk group set up. It's called Asteroid, and we'll send a text. Let's demonstrate sending a quick text message to this radio. So those are my quick text messages. And you can also type out your own, just like back in the day when you would text on a keypad. And there is the text message on this radio. And I can respond. I have found one note about texting with DMR radios, and that's something that is just tough for this video. When they are really close together, like in the same room or like this when they're right next to each other, it is very hard to get the text messaging to work. But when you get further away, it works just fine. So let's go ahead and look at the inbox on this inbox list. And you can tell we have a message from 757. That is this radio's radio ID. So I know it came from that radio. And that is something else that I want to briefly touch base on. You need a DMR ID, and you need to apply for one with your ham license to use the public repeater networks. If you are not a ham or you want to use DMR radio, these radios, you can just make up your own ID. Um, so that that is something that is a misconception I've seen, and people think that they need to be a ham and they need to get a DMR ID. No, the radio just needs to be identified with its own unique number to communicate with all the other radios. So each one of them, when you set it up in the programming software, just needs to have its own unique number. Um, it doesn't matter what that is. You can make it up. And I just label them here. So just, just a side note, um, I've seen people say that, and that is not exactly true. But for accessing the public network, yes, which is something that I don't particularly care about. If I'm going to use repeaters, I'm just going to use FM analog. Going into this radio, you're going to see the channel set up as zones. So this is my simplex um, channel list that I have encryption on, which I can turn off or on, and I can turn it on when I want it, but it, I leave it off. I have my ham repeaters. I have a GMRS simplex list. So these are a little different. Oh, I got MERS in there too. Um, these work a little bit different than a standard FM analog radio where typically all the channels are just in one list. You make zones in here. Here's my GMRS repeater list. And there's my repeater. So, And that's another thing that I, I really want to show here. This is my GMRS repeater, and this is a DMR radio. But you can see I have it set up on analog with my offsets and the frequency of my personal GMRS repeater. And we'll go ahead and uh, kerchunk it here. You can see it kicked back. And so this is uh, capable on GMRS, HAM, MERS, and it does digital and encryption. So this is a big piece of capability that you might want to think about getting into, um, especially for you tactical guys who you know are set up with night vision and suppressors and stuff. Uh, the next big cool thing may be to get an encrypted radio set up for yourself. And encryption is a lot more secure than something like this. These are the radios we sell on our website. And it's FM analog, but you have a voice scrambler. I've kind of showed this off before. Um, Baofeng has scramble modes on it right there. 
And what it does is it goes through and just masks your voice. It just scrambles it all around. It's not as secure as having an encrypted radio. Just a real quick demonstration on the scramble mode. Um, I'm going to turn it on mode one here. And so if you were someone else and you had another radio and you were listening, this is what you would hear. You could tell it's just totally scrambling. It, it's totally scrambling my voice. You really can't understand it. So if you had another person with one of these Baofeng K5 Pluses, um, that is another way to do a little bit more secure communication. But encrypted DMR is going to be way harder for somebody to break. And it's just better. Real encryption is just going to be better. And that's that. It, it's going to be harder to break simply because anyone else with one of these bow fangs, if they know what's going on, they can turn their scrambler on. Now, there's a lot of different brands and stuff. And the scramble modes all work a little bit differently. And they scramble the voice differently. But anybody with the same radio as you and they hear that coming in, they, they, they could probably figure out to turn their scrambler on. But it is something that if you didn't want to get into DMR, because DMR is very complicated to program, um, we want to make encrypted radios available on our site for you just to purchase, but I have not found a way to really do it at a price point that's going to make sense for people to buy. Um, so we are going to do some videos in the future on how to do it. Um, you're going to have to download CPS, and you're going to have to learn how to get your radio hooked up to a computer and to really program it. So that is the overview of DMR, sort of the capability, why you might want to have DMR. The texting and encryption capabilities are pretty much the big ones there. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Sometimes I will make a video specifically just for a question that somebody asked. And stay tuned, we are going to do an in-depth video on how to program the radio, how to make an encrypted channel, and how to make talk groups, and just a general video on how to program one of these DMR radios. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.